Is this the Tea House podcast? <laughs> All right, sweet. Blake, yeah, you're going to have to monitor the comments on that one, brother. Yeah, bros, I'm trying. All right, so for those for those that are here on minute number 1, what we're here for, if you don't know already, let me uh, let me tell you. So we've been doing a little bit of a little bit of a giveaway, Natty <coughs> Bras, <coughs> Racy. What's going? We've been doing a little bit of a giveaway, ladies and gents, for a tea house hat right here. This beautiful, gorgeous little thing right here. You want one of them? And what we've been doing over the past week or so is getting you guys to send in your best, worst breakup stories of all time. Is it? <clears throat> I'm sure with all the damage that I've been seeing around like my town alone. Fuck. All the broken souls out there. I'm sure. I'm sure the world has some stories to tell. So they do. And we thought, what better way to find out what those <coughs> stories are is a fucking live stream on Twitch. I mean, fucking TikTok Twitch. on TikTok. We're Twitches now. <laughs> oh yeah, soon to be Twitch streamers, guys. Keep out for that. Keep out for that. Tea time. Yes, the boys. The boys are coming in. What's so we've got a, We've got a, actually a good episode planned. We have a fair few stories that the viewers have actually already sent in. And if you want to get involved any more, what we need you to do is go to our Instagram and send in any breakup stories that you have. I'll be saying this pretty regularly for viewers that are new coming in. So everyone kind of is up to date and we can all get everyone in on the competition because it's a free hat. Who doesn't want a fucking free hat? Exactly right. Doing it for the boys. And they're tough hats too. Spring's coming. And Spring is coming. They, these come, um, they block COVID. So you don't even need the vaccine. No, no <laughs> you need it. You need it. Yeah, just saying. One hat comes with free, one free vaccine dose. <laughs> nah. That's marketing right there. Nah, it just it protects you from COVID. It's just an extra force field. You can just get one jab. Exactly right. I don't even need a second. Exactly right. Uh, <laughs> before we get into it, before we want a little bit of, uh, you know, we want some people to come in before we start reading out these stories because the stories are good and we don't want them to go to waste. We, don't, we want everyone that can possibly see it, see it. So, uh... In the meantime, Blake, what yep. were you telling me before? You've been uh, absolutely fiending for a bit of a haircut, mate. Fiending for a haircut? Yeah. Nah, it's good. The mullet's fresh. No, 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 the mullet. But aren't you going to trim up the top there? Yeah, pa- nah, party all over. Party all over. <laughs> yeah, there's no business at the front. It's just fucking party all over. Nah, man, I've got to get the free front fringe cut back in soon. We're going to get hid. We're going to get hideous. I've got the headphones tucking it back, but I'm looking like the Nova symbol at the moment. It's good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's actually devastating because um, I'm actually getting my hair done again. I'm going blonde again. Going blonde. I'm thinking of even going blonde. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to go even more blonde. And I cannot. It blocks out 5G, our hats as well. It does. It does. You'll see, there's like a tag on the inside. It says, blocks out 5G. So (laughs) I'll pay pay (laughs) attention. Cut it live. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shit. Yeah, I've been fucking fiending for a haircut though. I came out of lockdown and I was like, sweet, let's fucking, let's go. Me hairdresser's booked out for like three weeks. (laughs) Yeah. Even mine like booked out straight away And I caught him like as soon as like I knew you could He's like yeah mate best could do Friday 6.30 I'm like mate Usually, usually I'm in bed be- by then <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm in bed by then Usually you're like got your plan You're fucking on your way somewhere by 6.30 mate And like especially now you gotta like grasp your weekend Before it gets fucking stolen from you So you gotta like go Alright As soon as Friday hits Cause you, you never know Lockdown by 9pm That could, could happen It's actually fucking true Like you can't You can't come out of a lockdown And be like Alright I'm just gonna have a weekend off And then uh, next weekend I'm gonna get back into it Because fucking that next weekend's already locked down again Yeah I know. You get a week off And then you're back in lockdown It's like fuck Yeah it's fuck Like you can't even enjoy it I went to the Geelong last weekend With some of the boys And that was pretty good But this restrictions Still make it like Fuck It's like still It's not the same Like you, you're like You're there You're still any so Like you just Fuck, I don't know. I don't you're like you're a dog and you're, tra- you're chained up and like they've let the leash out a bit. Yeah. You know what I mean? But you're still, you're still on the chain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't like it. You're <laughs> still on the fucking chain. I'm not, I'm not playing one. I'm not playing one. No, we're not. Well, to keep the, the fans here, how many people have we got? Can you actually see how many people are on the, on the stream right now, brother? Um, nah, I can't, bro. <laughs> 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 and I can't even, I can't even. So we've got, we've got Blake on the, the second be, cam here. There'd be thousands, but. Yeah, he's watching the there'd actual, yeah, he's watching the stream. I see counts. And I obviously can't use me, me fucking camera because it's how I've got it positioned is so carefully placed. 
<clears throat> it's touchy. It's very touchy. Cut your hair for charity. Oh, that is actually good content. Oh, my hair is long, but am I that charitable? <laughs> <laughs> am I a good bloke? No, nah, the mullet's growing, bro. Like I will. I'll, once it once it grows, I'll get the. The, 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 they're not gonna they're not gonna steal an inch of hair off me otherwise yeah gonna, blake uh, is like beyond attached to his mullet oh yeah oh, no. it's tough <clears throat> it's real tough it's it's not even like it's like an accessory you know what i mean to you yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. it's more than that it's part was, of you i was keeping it trim though i wasn't going dirty mullet for a while but now i'm sort of um i'm embracing it a little bit but i'm still making it look fresh yeah i like it none of that gronk shit yeah i like it man tough it would be tough i like it I really, I really need to know him. What mullet? Ah, oh, come on, Braz. Oh, don't say that to him. Do not say that to him. Tell Lincoln I need a shout out. Tom1130. Oh, shout out to Tom. If, if that's a big man who I think it is, me boss. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> shout out to Tom, legend of the, legend of the game. He'll be a big, he's a big tea bagger. Yeah, yeah, big one. Big fan of yours, Blake. Me? Mm. Yeah, I would be. Says you have a large head. I have a large head. <laughs> What a fucking dick. Well, you actually said that you had a large head before. Hey, nah, fair bum. I actually do, but <laughs> it actually goes right on me fucking big broad shoulders. Yeah. So it's all right. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you just let that go, didn't you? That's yeah. all right. Fucking make it awkward. I did. Yes, um, sir. He's keen. He loves it. Yeah, good. But now, nah, me and Blake were just like, all right, let's look up some fucking, because we got some of our stories right, but <laughs> we'll get some, get some draggers, get some fillers for yeah, us. Yeah, because like how good, we. I, I literally Googled, what was it? Funniest celebrity breakups of all time. And this one is fucking classic. So everyone knows Matt Damon. Mm. So Matt Damon and Minnie Driver had been dating for a year when during an appearance on Oprah, he said he was single. <laughs> Matt Damon. You know, that's all I can remember Matt Damon off of. Bad, bro. Every time I think Team of Team America. Every time, he's not even on that. Yeah, it's Team America and he's like, yeah. Matt Damon. Yeah, but <laughs> that's the only thing I remember him Yeah, off. that's what it is. That's elite. See, I didn't know who Matt Damon was because I was young when that movie came yeah, out. I was, I was, you know what's funny? I was about to say that movie's like ruined him for me. But then like, <laughs> you've just said like, I don't even fuck Matt Damon, bro. I remember him. He was on Team America. Like, <laughs> yeah. He's that guy, Matt Damon. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't even him that played him. That's the sad thing. It's just like some fucking... <laughs> Oh, but that's a mad stitch up though. That's like one way to finding out, what would you call that? Imagine when he got home. Because she, yeah, yeah, she was yeah, like, yeah. yeah, I'll support you, babe. I'll watch your Oprah show today. <clears throat> what the fuck is this? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Don't come home. All these shits just fucking layered out on the fucking front lawn. Oh, he's got new shit, mate. So, this is, and this one I find funny too because of um, the soap opera that happened afterwards. Um, Pete Davidson broke up with Chrissy. What's his name? Is that, is that one you just said? No. <laughs> Fuck, I'm tripping for a sec. Pete Davidson broke up with Cassie David via text and she found out he was dating Ariana Grande the next day via Insta. You know what? My boy. Hoodville. Hoodville fam, we love that. No, yeah, I'm so there's, <laughs> yeah, there's 100% that he was just like, I need... I'm about to ask this other chick out. How the fuck do I quickly get out of this relationship? <clears throat> Sneaky just sends a DM to her. See you later. That's pretty funny, but to be fair, Ariana Grande. That did that did that did things for him. That that brought his career to new heights. That's actually dead so true. Have you seen what Ariana Grande used to look like before? Like you know, she's tanned and like all of her face. Like yeah, she looks she completely was, different. Mate, she was as pale as me. She was as white as me, mate. Literally, I thought she was like her. Well, I'm not gonna. How would you say her culture? Like her background was like like what is she? Is she something or is she like American or just? I don't know what. Oh, let's look that up right now because we've got a laptop right in front of us. Yeah, give it, give us a look. Give us a look. But how funny is that though? Because so he he's in love with uh, Ariana Grande for ages, moving really fast. Get what? Would they get fiance? No, wasn't get, get engaged. And then like fuck me, like I feel like that was like there was an album. There was an album that came out of that. Wait, so who Pete came Davidson first? Stand, like, was it Pete Davidson or was it um? Mac Miller. She dated Mac Miller, yeah? Yeah, yeah. She yeah. dated Mac Miller. <coughs> Who's tough as Spioni. R.I.P. Rip. Yeah, Rip. She, she is Italian. She is Italian. Oh. There you oh, go. Yeah. No, I fair, kind so. of, yeah, it makes sense, actually. Mm. Should have known that. Known that. Yeah, tough. Mm. Oh, <sighs> what else have we got in any of these fucking funny stories? Okay, so, are we? so I'm going to tell. This isn't like a direct entry, but this is just a classic someone I know. That's all I'm going to say. Someone I know, this is to the breakup stories. So if, 
if you want to win the hat, your breakup story has to be better than this because this was this is pretty good. Someone I know broke up with their girlfriend over a game of FIFA on Xbox. They made a bet and they were like, if I lose, I'll break up with my girlfriend. I'm not saying they're in this chat. I'm not saying that. <laughs> this was very... <laughs> to be honest, it would be weird if it was like now, but this was like teenager days. So yeah, like yeah, you yeah. can always get away with it, but like imagine that like as a 25-year-old. To be fair, <laughs> the country the shouldn't have lost. Yeah, he fucking... If, if he won, he would have kept it. He thing. actually was only playing one hand. I don't think he like intentionally lost on purpose. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Joking. Oh, who was it? <laughs> um, so I, I had like a real funny one. Like this doesn't have... <clears throat> I thought I'd wait for a few people to come in too. So like, because like on the topic, breakout stories and stuff. And I think my mum's got like a real funny one. That like, I don't know if she wants me saying, but like I am... <laughs> So right, we'll get into it. Shout out. She'll be watching. <laughs> Shout out. Big tea bagger. But um, so a few years ago after mum left, uh, like a, a long distance, no, a long lasting relationship, I'll say, seven years or whatever. So it goes back on the market, you know, what it is, yada, yada. Meets this bloke from her childhood. <laughs> goes back on the market. Hey, I don't know. What do you do when you go single? Fucking... <laughs> I don't know. closed off, mate. I just feel like weird you said that about you. Nope, but anyway, no, mate, can, people can buy shares in it. I don't, <laughs> I, don't know how, I, I, don't, I don't know how it works, mate. Anyway, mate. So she's dating again and she ends up hooking up with this bloke from childhood or whatever and starts seeing him and shit. And like at the start, everything was good. He um, it was just this bloke. His name was, he was, a, he was an electrician, been in the mines for 10 years, had heaps of money, cashed up. She likes that. Reminds me. Reminds her of her son. Cashed up. Yep. Likes him. He um, and I, I'm a Sparky myself. And he he actually always always offered a hand. To give me give me a hand with school work. And then I'm like, nah, mate. It's all good. Don't need it. All good. And that yeah, grouse. So a few months go by. Blah blah blah. And he's always he was just one of those blokes that had like a fucking story for everything. You know what I mean? Like you know those mm. blokes have a story for everything. Like yep. if you're telling something, they're fucking bang. They got one better. They bang. Always fucking man. This guy's done everything, bro. Like yeah. I was like, man, this this guy might be forty, but this guy he living like he fitty. Yeah. <laughs> like he was bad. <laughs> yeah. He had to, he had some fucking mileage anyway. It's so, some experience behind him. Oh, had to have had to have. <coughs> anyway, so over time, mum thought it was a bit sus and stuff. Like. What was going on? But I was seeing each other for a few months. Like it was like a little while. And like, <clears throat> mate, he's been on ho- he went on holidays like with her and shit. Like, family holidays and shit. Not family ones, I don't think. Oh. But like they went away. Like you know what I mean? Like they done stuff together. Like a long enough time, you'd think you'd be caught by then, sort of thing. Yeah. And then, <clears throat> so what happens? So mum, I don't know. One night goes through his phone. Toxic. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> no, but um, <laughs> fucking <laughs> goes through his phone one night. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't even tell. So I've, I've got a major key to the fact that... So her, he told this... When they first got together, he told this massive story about how when he was single, him and his ex-missus, they went overseas and he caught her cheating and they broke up and he left her over there and yada, yada and all this shit because he was cashed up and could just do what he wanted and fucking loaded and shit. <clears throat> so turns out... um. <laughs> Mum went for his phone and he actually still had a missus. What? And it was the girl that he was talking about that they broke up or whatever. True. So <clears throat> mum's like, I bloody messaged her and all this shit and they've come to cahoots, fucking all this shit, it's all come out, blah, blah. And then <laughs> <laughs> the, blo- <laughs> the, bloke, the bloke lied about everything. Wasn't an electrician. This guy literally fucking for months wasn't even a Sparky and was trying to get me to help me with my Sparky homework. How <laughs> fucked up is that? So That's committed. So this guy was like, yeah, bro, take your school work home, man. I help yeah, blah, 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 blah. Mate, this guy was a tire fitter. <laughs> By trade, bro. And oh, oh my God, like this dude, man, like, oh my God. And he was, had all these houses, had all these houses and that, had all these fucking things. Mate, didn't even own a house. His missus owned the house. That he was, oh, bro. Like, it just got so fucking shit. Like, he was just a turd. That's fucking full on, though. That's like, 
You know how there's like those bullshit artists that like you just know when they're talking shit? Yeah, yeah. That's he, like the king of that. Yeah, like the king. The king. But like it's Fuck. funny because like I was like fourth year at the time or whatever. Like I thought like sometimes like he was talking shit. But like at the same time when like terminology is different between fucking like just yeah. generations in general. Like sometimes like older Spark is talking to me and I'm like well, what bras mm. are you saying? But it's like. It's mainly that just like the terminology essentially is what they're saying. So I, I'm just thinking this can't fucking, I don't know, fucking old person talk, whatever the fuck he's talking about. Nah, just didn't fucking have a clue. And <laughs> apparently me, one of my uncles is a sparky too. And apparently he was like from the start, like, you know, this can't fucking weird. Doesn't, I don't know, I'm sus on him. Just, but how good's that? I had a hunch. Yeah, that's fucking committed. Uh, look, I'll give the bloke points for commitment. You know what I mean? Like there are some points in there for commitment. How's the stream going, bro? Yeah, it's good. Catching up? Imposter level 100. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's time. I think it's time for our first fan submission. Okay. <clears throat> Story time. Let me, paint, let me paint the picture. I'm in year nine at a local Bendigo public high school and I have a girlfriend also in year nine. We have been dating for a few months, but I was fairly late bloomer and so the relationship was mainly just the school at school and only kissing and hugging if you'd like to know you pervert very nice yeah <laughs> i like that little ad you did there my family decides to go for a three-month trip around australia to be honest i was keen as for leaving and i just told my girlfriend that we'll do long distance i know it's crazy to believe right now but at that point i didn't even have a phone so the going around australia journey starts off and i'm absolutely loving it just a van, four kids, two adults, card games, and a half of an, half of Australia to explore. That sounds fucking unreal, to be honest with you. I'm liking this. It gets good. This is painting the whole picture for me. I like it. Yeah, it's descriptive. I know it sounds terrible, but I nearly forgot about everything back home, including my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> In brackets, that was. In brackets. Yeah. Uh, anyway, it gets to about a month and a half in. My, my older sister... My older sister handed me her phone and says, you can log into Facebook. Your girlfriend wants to chat. So I log in and see that she's obviously missing me and keen for me to chat to her. I love people, but I'm definitely not known to be an emotion, an emotional being. In short, I'm an engineer. Yep. Makes so much <laughs> sense. He knows it too. I message her and within five minutes, I break up with her over text. <laughs> Fuck. Hey, babe, I miss you so much. P.S. We need to see other people. Um, <laughs> over text. Now I feel like that's bad enough. But I get back home after the three months and I kind of tried to avoid her. I quickly learned that she was really upset from the breakup, which actually really surprised me. I know I'm, I know I'm emotionless. My memory is not amazing, but I'm pretty sure about two to three weeks later, she then started dating another girl from my year. It's now been a running joke ever since that I was so bad that I made my girlfriend lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> She's actually bisexual and the woman she dated is trans, but fair bump play on. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, that is very good. Holy shit. That's actually funny as. That's a very good story. Well written, by the way. I'm not going to say your name, but that's a very good entry by you, sir, and I love it. It is funny. I hope you're watching. Is he watching? I hope he is. He has to be. No, Huge tea bag. He'll be watching. He's watching. <sighs> For sure. Fuck, that's funny. Yeah, no, it's got me. Who's the next one? <clears throat> also, how we're going to do this, by the end, we will be rating the best ones that me and Blake think, and then we will <clears throat> obviously do the winner out of that. Blake, the rest are on the uh, stories we had to get up on that one. Oh, yeah. So I will no longer be able to see these comments. Oh, so we got uh, our boy Jackson Tippett eating with mouth open. I don't think he understood, but that's okay. <laughs> I don't think he understood the question there. Yeah, but we'll keep going. <clears throat> All right. My ex-partner was a crackhead. Gone through phone at 5 a.m. in the morning and kicked out the door. Shit. Well, that's... Yeah, that's no good. Wait, what time? 5 a.m.? Shit, that's happened to me. Wait, that's uh, similar to your mum's story, bro. What? Yeah, true. Who's the problem there? True. Maybe it's <laughs> you, bro. Maybe <laughs> yeah. it's you. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. All right. 
he cried saying that he was in love with me after I found out he cheated on me like three times. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, I actually find that really weird how people do that. Mm. I'm like, well, it's really you seen it coming. It's an immature thing. I definitely reckon I did it when I was like 16. Yeah, I feel like if you do it, you've kind of got to like, you got to own up to it. Uh, <sighs> especially I if- I didn't do it. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you fucking should have, Blake. Yeah. All right? All right. Shit happens, bro. It's wild west out there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My ex ex and I broke up after five years and I ended up dating the guy we evolved after with for two years. <laughs> that's actually so that's good. elite and that's a punch to the absolute chest, but fuck, that's pretty funny. That actually is a mad stitch up. That's actually pretty good. So basically you didn't just take one thing from him, you took two things. His best friend and his and he's yeah. bad. And there's a bond. I'm that, fucking crying for him. Yeah, there's a bond people share the people who they game with and you took that away from him. And <laughs> that's that's a kick in the that's a kick in the dick. It's a kick. That's a kick in the dick. While they're down. If you are though. Yep. All right, hold my beer. Oh, that was that other story. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, All right, it's cool. tough. I think we have Imagine ma- imagine um Fuck, do you, oh, I was going to say, do you know anyone that's dated someone's friend right after? But I do. Oh, here we go. I've got this story here. Hang on. For some reason, it wasn't coming up on the computer. It was only coming up with the second message. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is another semi biggish story time. This is, is this our last story for the night? I think this might be. Might, might be one more, but maybe this is the last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I got a breakup story from when I was in year seven, lol. Long time ago, but still funny. My first, my first, my very first boyfriend who was my first everything, I heard rumors about him cheating, but didn't, but being 13, I did not think anything of it because I was young and stupid. One day at school, these girls come up to me where I was sitting and they said, Hey, are you still dating? Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, Yeah, lol, why? I hope you did say lol in person too. And they were like, well, Character. well, he's at a stadium with a girl sitting on his lap and they are kissing and stuff. And I was like, what the actual fuck, El Mayo? So little 13-year-old me runs to the stadium <laughs> and catches him with her on his lap and he's like, oh, shit. His excuse was that her mum died. Like seven question marks after that. I literally caught him, but I didn't break up with him. Continued to lose my Vs to him and then he dumped me the next day to go be with her lol in caps <laughs> lesson learned i suppose <laughs> that's the most grimmest story ever actually that actually that's it, got, fu- it got grim didn't it yeah like it was just so funny for me, funny to me as well that we went to the same school and he was worried about me catching him at all that was, was, was it? yeah i know that's like that's that's classic bro <laughs> But to be fair, to be fair, I've seen cats like try and hide it in the same club with like pe- like their missus or like their boyfriends and shit like that. So it's like, yeah, some people are fucking uh, just risky, can't they? Just go it. Yeah, some people are really. They're just like fuck. I, I reckon the fun part's getting caught. Like what? Shout out to Cade. He said, "Where's the hot gay dude that was on the podcast?" Hashtag best episode ever. Uh, coming out with Cade. Everyone should go watch. <laughs> I don't remember being on the podcast. Who's that? that guy's username is sorry I have gayer standards. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's elite. I feel like you can't know you love someone till you cheat on them. Hoodville <laughs> <laughs> fam. Oh, that's fucking Hoodville. savage, dude. That's gold, cunt. Because if you because if you feel bad because if you feel bad you do and if you don't then you don't. Yeah, that's a very rough way to find out, though. <laughs> I don't know about that, brother. <laughs> but what, what if what if you what if you just like empathetic because you know you've done the wrong thing, and if they find out, they they're going to be hurt more more than the so that you love them. Yeah, can you actually tell them? Be like, look, I wasn't sure about us, but I shagged someone else, <laughs> and now I'm 100 percent sure that you are the one. <laughs> Is that how you'd break that conversation hey, down? Is like that how that would go? You just don't tell them. <laughs> Oh fuck! That's actually funny. Oh fuck no! That's very, very good by you guys. Well, what do we, what do we think, Blake? 
Wait, I think there's actually one more. Hang on, let me get this up. I think. Okay, now the story time, guys. <clears throat> let me paint the scene. Let me paint the picture. I probably shouldn't even like name drop him in shit before. It's <laughs> yeah, it's too late now. <laughs> uh, okay. So me and my brother had a festival booked on Boxing Day, which I was keen for. Plus wanted to keep it as a lad's weekend and I was fighting with the miso, but she had other plans and wanted to come. <laughs> After a while, I gave in and said, all right, as long as you have fun and we don't fight. Before we even get there, she starts sooking as we picked up one of my mates on the way and said, it's basically a boys weekend now. <laughs> well, it's kind of what you signed up for. Once we get there, she was... she. Once they we fucking get, do that too. Yeah, once we get there, she stayed in the car and was sooking about the fact my brother kept skipping her cued songs and she wanted me to say something, but I didn't. <laughs> Oh. That's so funny Then she starts saying she wanted to go home And I got that mad As I didn't even want her to come And knew this would happen Yeah, especially if you explained it from the start That would shit me too Because I, I used to have the same thing of, yeah, that's mm. My day was ruined after that She also said she felt like she Wouldn't get along with them And have fun Because they were just going around Getting with chicks as the lads do Fast forward a couple of days, I was basically done after that shit and wanted to be over it, but no, had to spend four days in Byron Bay for New Year's with, <laughs> New Year's with her f- with her friends because we didn't want to sell our tickets and basically walked around by myself for four days. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> That's so shit. You know, when you're like on that breakup stage and you're like, there's like something coming up and you, like I know people that have done like holidays you know what I mean? They've, yeah, just they, kept going. Yeah, just like they've just done family apart. holidays. Yeah, and they're like fucking virtually hate each other. Okay, anyway, <clears throat> walked around by myself for four days. Then we ended up having to drive home with a broken aircon in 40 degree heat due to the fires that were in Sydney. We drove 22 hours home, only stopping for fuel and officially broke up the next day. She, she, she That's heavy, dude. She. That's actually heavy. That's a tough one. That is a tough one. That's a tough Good one. story again by you. Love look that. At- in brackets, to paint the scene. First, Misso. Suspect, suspected my girlfriend cheated on me, but I couldn't prove it. So a few months later, I cheated on her by accident. But then... <laughs> That's some Hoodville shit right there. <laughs> Let me just stop you right there. By accident. <laughs> okay. Cheated on her by accident, but then told her the next day. She was mad, but wanted to stay with me. And I said, fuck that. So we broke up. <laughs> Met her at a festival five years later. Then she told me she did cheat on me the time I suspected it. But she said it was only a peck and I accidentally put it in. So she took the L. <laughs> L's. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Live and learn, bitch. L's. <laughs> Fucking L. Okay, in brackets, second miso. Me and the miso had a lit trip to Bali booked in a villa and some other cool things. Then we ended up breaking up and selling our plane tickets and villa booking and selling up plane tickets and villa booking to my brother and his miso. Then a week later, they ended up breaking up as well and having to sell the tickets for only half the price. <laughs> Wait, so who made the profit out of that? Because did you sell full price to your brother and then your brother got stitched up because he had to sell them half yeah. price? Like yeah. who, was the, who was the winner on that one? Man, I don't know. Not... not. <laughs> 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 oh, shit, God, that's so good. That's actually classic. That is funny. Okay, what do we got here? Um, there might be one more, guys, but that may give us a spin. Yeah, that may be very well the end. It's so funny because like it's it's breakups are funny too because it's like it's one of those ones that everyone sort of have. You know what I mean? Like everyone's everyone's got their breakup story, even mm. if like <clears throat> even if it like doesn't sound as exciting as some some others. Like some people have like real mature ones. They're just like. Yeah, this isn't working for us. I can feel it in the air. They just go separate ways. Yeah. Our energies aren't aligned. Yeah, hundred percent. And mm. it's just like those fucking good ones where you just like, you know, fucking stalking each other on Facebook for ages, mm. messaging all the people they're hanging out with, going, <laughs> Del- going on their phone, deleting like the opposite sex Snapchats and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Right. <laughs> Real petty shit. Yeah. Um. Okay, so this one. This is another one, guys, but this is the last one. Just a short one. Two and a half years of dating and fully just got ghosted out of nowhere. Lol. That's just weird. I find that so weird. 
Two years is a fucking long time to just be randomly ghost today. Well, like, must have hurt him. I don't know. Like, what'd you do? Yeah. <laughs> what? What caused this? What fucking caused this? What do you do though? Yeah. All right, Blake. What is our summary? What is our summary of all the stories that we've had, and who is going to be the winner of the tea house hat? I'm yep. the winner. I won. <laughs> Blake is the winner. So uh, for me, I really liked the uh, the traveling around Australia story was pretty good mm. because like the, the end was good. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. relatable, but also the 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 finding, like literally catching the the bloke sitting on like a, another girl sitting on his lap, and you like run up and fucking catch him red handed. <laughs> but it. then continue to lose your virginity, as you would say, as you said, and then and then get broken up with for that girl. Yeah. Then she said the next day. Wait. So why'd you lose your virginity to him after being? Fuck. Is that? I don't know, man. That's bad. That's bad. And that's why I think it's up there with the top. I reckon that just squeezes in. Just, <laughs> just like... What else though? Was it, what, are, what are the other ones we said? Is that... It's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to be... He's going to be watching this and being like, this fuckhead. <laughs> he's fucking... <laughs> oh, shit. What's your password off? I've lost it. That's so funny. Uh, well, I'm. We'll do a vote. You and me. We'll be the deciders here because we're the only ones fucking around the show. I personally think that the. Oh fuck! I reckon the the basketball one, the stadium one, like where she caught him. Yeah, same. You reckon that one's the one? I do. Shit. Well, there you go. There's the winner. That is the winner. That is the fucking winner. Do, do we announce her name? Or, no. Mm, w- won't announce her name, but she's a big teabagger, big follower. Won't announce it for anonymously doing you a favour, unlike Blake, who has fucking mm. called out everyone's name he's fucking talked about. Yeah, it's tough. <laughs> tough. He's, he's going he's gonna to struggle with that tomorrow. <laughs> lucky, lucky it was none of my issues. Got <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Congratulations. Uh, to that person, hope you're actually watching. I think you are watching. Cause Repost you did, that shit. Yeah, because you actually sent that message in as we were streaming. So congratulations. Good fucking send in by you. Everyone else that sent in yours, we really appreciate it. Absolute legends. They were very funny. We are probably going to do this a little bit more, I think. Uh, do a bit more live streams just like with some fucking random questions that you guys have. Yeah, it was tough. I rated it. It's actually. a bit of fun. Love some people sending some stuff in. It's yeah, a good yarn. Definitely a viber. We love it. I hope you enjoyed our first live stream, if it actually worked good. All right, I'm going to cut the live stream, but, <laughs> I, but I have to get up to do it. Yeah, yeah, but, but just imagine we're cut. All right.